Yo, what's up guys? So, um, just arrived at the European WCQ uh, 2023. Uh, I'm not par uh, participating in the main event, but I have Monarchs with me in my main neck. I have uh, some, um, you know, for the side events, the, I might be the 10th one of the side events. The, uh, you know, the Time Wizard one with, um, with the Edison format rights. Uh, you can play Frog Monarchs in that one with Substato Duke Frog, so that's, that's my format from back in the day. Uh, so I, I might actually get in, you know, get myself into that format uh, a little more, maybe, you know, more content on the channel, we'll see. Uh, so that's planned, deck profiles, a vlog, some interviews. Uh, so we'll see, right? Right. It's a, basically one of the biggest tournaments, I guess, uh, throughout the year here for us uh, TCG players. So enjoy your content. Okay. Familiar face. Hi. Um, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. Pretty relaxed. Uh, all the all the people from the playoffs thingy have two buys. Right, right, right. And we haven't even started round three yet, so I haven't yeah, even, yeah. I haven't even played yet. I woke up. I was able to woke up a little late, have breakfast while everyone was already playing. So yeah. Right. So, so yesterday you were qualified for the world's playoffs, mm -hmm. right? You went three, two. How did you like prepare for that event? Maybe the, the main event as well today. Like, tell us a little bit more. It was a. Uh, it was difficult to prepare for that one because I felt like it was going to be a very different format from the main event. Like the decks you're expecting, you're in the main right. event, you're expecting a little bit more variety. In the playoffs, you're expecting everyone to bring like the, the best decks pretty much. Like yeah, I was yeah. expecting yeah, yeah. almost exclusively like Runic Sprite variants, Cash Tira, and maybe a couple others. And that's, I think, what we saw mostly. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I'm playing a different deck in the main event than I played in the playoffs simply because I thought that was yeah. worth yeah. adjusting a little, a little bit. So yeah, I mean, I'm happy with three and two. I think it's just incredibly okay. difficult to go through a field of those players. And exactly. And even then you, you were only allowed to lose like once. You could and only lose then. once and even yeah. then it wasn't guaranteed that you would make top yeah. four. So. Yeah. That paired with the fact that I was already qualified for the Master Duel World, so exactly. I, if I like it, it, it still mattered to me. The qual, the, I still tried to do as best as I can, but it's not as bad because yeah, I, at least right. I have the Master Duel World Championship qualification. So yeah, overall, I'm happy with three and two. It's right. Fun. What do you think about the current format? There's a lot of diversity, right? Like for now, it is. It is, and uh, sometimes that's a bad thing if you're trying to prepare mm -hmm. for an event because there's like you don't know exactly what to prepare for. Currently, I think it's okay still. Okay. Like we have a lot of diversity, but a lot of the decks feel fair. Yeah. Overall, like yeah. there's some unfair stuff. Don't get me wrong. It's always there's always something. There's that's always true. that one card like that Arise Hard yeah. or Gimmick Puppet. Yeah. It exists for sure. But I would say right now it is a very diverse format, but it comes with um, still a relatively high skill ceiling. So right. I'm still overall happy. I don't think yeah. it's it's one of the formats where I'm gonna go back and in a few years and play. Let's play yeah, that yeah. format right. again. Right. Not one of those. But it's all right. Yeah. I think. Okay. Last question. Uh, so you already mentioned Master Duel, your grind. I think what was it? Three thousand people eventually on like the <laughs> yeah. live stream. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you still have your like sanity? <laughs> yeah, when you're, you're I, <laughs> after that weekend. I, I do have it. It was quite hard and I was basically knocked out for like one or two days after right. after the, the weekend. But I'm still very happy I did it. Obviously I qualified but also for the experience for yeah, yeah, yeah. it a lot more viewers than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, and I'm really happy that people enjoyed it because I thought I was just going to I was going to try hard anyway, so mm -hmm. I might as well stream it even if I have less people watching sure. than usual, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I thought it was going to be because yeah, yeah, I wasn't yeah. talking. Yeah. I was only focused on the game for the most part. Turns out people still really liked the, exactly. the competitive aspect of it and seeing the grind and that made me very happy. So I'm very glad I did it. Yeah, the thing is, is that I was watching and I went to sleep and you were still playing <laughs> when I woke up. Yeah. I was like, Jesus, man. Okay, uh, any last uh, words? No, that's it. I have nothing to say. I'm looking forward to the event. Uh, obviously, haven't played yet, so I'm 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 excited, and right. I'll still try to do my best. Yeah. Okay. Good luck, uh, and you. good luck at Worlds. Thank you. Okay. Uh, familiar face. Think Um Hi. So uh, yesterday we had the playoffs at the European, you know, World Championship qualifier. You ended up. Uh, third place. Third place, yes. right? So you are going to Worlds. Yes, indeed. Uh, like, how does it feel? Like, how do you, or how did you prepare for this event? For the playoffs? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't prepare that much, to be honest. I did a lot of theory. I was pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm stick with, I was sticking with two decks. It was either Lab or Mouth Mac. But in the end, I was more comfortable, um, confident with uh, Lab, so I... Uh, okay. Okay. I took that, that deck again. Right. So it, uh, as I asked, is it the same deck as you used uh, in the German National Championship two weeks ago? No, uh, I changed up 
uh, the main deck a little bit and I almost switched to whole side deck. Basically. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. As for the main event itself, like, uh, what, what do you think about the format? Uh, why, why the question is because um, I think you're most known for playing like those, not awkward decks, but the more uh, roguish more, decks. More <laughs> roguish underdog yeah. decks. Yeah. Like, I remember, was it London with uh, the Fur Hire deck? Yes. Like, like, why, why is it like your specialty, or why do you pick certain decks? Uh, I like to play like different decks all the time, but um, this time I chose Lab because I didn't have time, uh, didn't have that much time to prepare. Uh, prepare. Okay. Um, and I feel like I just like to have the advantage over my opponent if they don't know uh, what my cards do. Right. So um, I try to play a new uh, deck every time, if possible. Okay, okay. I mean, I could imagine that it's so much playtesting that <laughs> goes in advance simply because you want oh, to be that, yeah. or play yeah. that underdog deck. Yeah. Okay, no, that's cool. Uh, so last, what, what do you think about the format now? It's so much diversity, you're playing yeah. Labyrinth, right? Yeah. Uh, like, what, what do you think about it? Uh, I really like the, the format right now. Because uh, the decks right now, they don't FTK you. Mm -hmm. um, there are of course some stronger decks like Cash and Runic decks, which need to get uh, nerfed, to be yeah. honest. Um, but I li pretty li uh, much like um, diverse formats. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The ban list. Is there a card that you would ban or limit or maybe bring back? I think, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I hate to say it, but I think they need to limit Fountain or Tip. Okay. Um, I love Runics, but I think uh, the, the engine itself is way too powerful. And also, I think they have to uh, do something with cash. For sure. Right. Yeah. Okay. Worlds. Uh, did you already see like the Forbidden Limited list? Uh, do you maybe know uh, some um, decks you might want to try out, or are on the radar? I took a look, but I um, don't know about all the hits and. Not um, yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, any last words? Uh, no. Okay. Quick level me. <laughs> nice and quick. Good luck at Worlds. Thank, Thank you. you. Friendly games, and I enjoyed it. It's super nostalgic. I borrowed the deck from a friend, so you shout out to him. But um, I mean, the profile. I, I'll, I'll showcase some cards because I really want to get myself into the you know Edison format, uh, and this is probably one of the biggest reasons. I mean, everyone who plays Edison knows that this card is legal at three. Um, a small frog package. Again, this is a borrowed deck. I would probably change this one up to three. Again, this for me is super nostalgic. This this was like my format back in the day. Yeah. With, together with Tengu Plant and Synchro Plant. The times where, you know, stuff like Battle Fader was, uh, was good. With Gores, maybe Tragodia as well. Um, as for tributes, like, like my all-time favorite is this. Um, especially, you know, kind of slowish grind. This, your opponent needs to waste uh, resources. Not so sure about the Mobius main deck, but it kind of makes sense because of something else. This I like, you know, for Blackwing boards. Prime Material is more of a side deck card, maybe against Gladiators or something. Uh, this is a nifty deck. This is not from me. Um, but I kind of like it with the old school ruling that when you would like get rid of your own field spell by overlaying another field spell, I think it should work. Uh, if I, again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, otherwise, you know, you have like Mobius to destroy the field spell. So, okay, that's cool, that's nice. This, I'm not so sure about, sure you can pay life points to get like uh, light and darkness on fields, but it kind of conflicts with, you know, your tree borns. So it's cool, I think about it. This is super staple. I will definitely play a third, some generic staples and the, the treasure. So, I mean, for Edison, it's really, really nice. I, I definitely want to get some of the cards. I'm missing a few. 
at home. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely getting myself into this one. But it's cool. All right. All right. Uh, familiar. I'm, I was about to say familiar face, but no, not the first time on the channel. I have some profiles no, yes. from you. Uh, so Gabriel, uh, how are you doing? I'm, I'm amazing. I mean, I just won the the playoff thing, so I'm going to the world this year. Yeah. And it's something that was um, on my back from a long time because I qualified back in 2019. Yeah. That season, yeah. and because of COVID, etc., we could not go. There was no World Championship, ah, no playoffs. Right. right. So I did the season this year again. I was in the top 16, but like it was useless. I was already qualified. Okay. And then yeah. we played it yesterday, and it was maybe the hardest tournament I've ever done. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I'm so happy. It's crazy. Two in a row. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Very happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the second time you're going to Worlds, right? Yep. Uh, so, main event today, you're 4-0. Uh, how did you prepare for, like, the playoffs yesterday? Uh, this, you know, big round European, or this World Championship qualifier. How do you prepare for something like this? It, it was bizarre because it's a tournament that looks like the World Championship. It's 32 people and you kind of know what they're playing, but they can change, though. It's okay. not like they, they, they're not... Uh, uh, on a deck for sure, right. but they play the deck the whole season sometimes. Right. So you know that they're gonna pick this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you gotta prepare about that. And then there's also picks that are not good in usual tournaments, but in this one becomes very good. Like Dark World, we've seen okay. a lot of branded as well that did well, okay. even though no, no, none of them ended up in the top four, uh -huh. in the like the top three. Yeah. But they still did correctly. Um, so we needed to be perfectly prepared for every of those matchups. Right. Ended up taking Runic for higher because I think it was such a good pick for okay. many reasons and then you know like played some staples that were good against those right, decks. Right, um, two questions. So for let's say a ban list, um, we have a super diverse format now. Which cards would you, or a card, would you hit ban limits? Oh. So I'm playing Runic, mm -hmm. so that's all something you gotta take into account when I'm gonna say my cards. But of course, Virus is a card I think should be banned. That's Eradicated. in everyone's ma mind. And then if I gotta pick something spicy, I think Fountain should be banned. Okay. Or somehow kill the, the, the Runic engine because mm -hmm. it's not very... Like, you cannot deck build very well with it. It's 20 cards that you put into your deck. Exactly. Yeah. And it helps so many engines, it's so splashable. The gameplay is not very uh, like cool to watch mm -hmm. or to play against, I feel like. Even though it's not broken, uh, when a format is uh, settled, you have to play Runic at some point. Right. It becomes the best deck automatically. It's right. done this for right. the three past formats. So That's true. Like, That's this true. season was dominated by Runic. Except for when yeah. Telemann and Chizu was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think Fountain should be banned at some point, okay. and that's it. Okay. okay, yeah, speaking of Fountain, so recently Konami OCG put Fountain to 1, and uh, so you're going to Worlds, and I think, you know, Worlds format is like a combination between it BCG is. and OCG. Um, did you already, you know, take a look at, like, potential decks, because Runic is, you know, Fountain at 1? I've seen, I've seen the, the picture that everyone saw, with the combined ban yeah, list and yeah. saying what engine was good or not. Just took a look because we were talking about it with friends, but I didn't want to focus too much about World Championship when I'm not even sure to go there. Okay. So I spent all my time about the format of the playoffs and the European Championship. All right. So I'll have to dive into it, but it's also because th there might be a ban list at TCG1. Okay. So it okay. will change things, okay. maybe. Okay. All right. Any last words? I just, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck at the Worlds. Okay, thank you. Um, Rafael Neva, you uh, played in the main event, right? So that uh, WCQ in Utrecht. I did. Uh, how did you end up doing? I dropped the last round of day one, sadly. Um, I played Kishtira, blind okay. second Kishtira. Okay. Um, because that version has a better mirror match. However, it is quite rough to go second, especially when you win the role, because then it's fairly obvious that you're playing blind Kishtira. Um, and I won, I won all but one of my die rolls. Ah, okay. <laughs> so one of my labyrinth opponents was like, oh, this is obviously plays uh, Kishtira and he just blind EV'd me. Uh, he put all his cards in the EV combo. Yeah. Game one, and then I also lost to like uh, a uh, runic stun deck, which was quite unfortunate, but it happens. So uh, overall, not a good event for me, but... It's, uh, it's all right. There's always next one. Okay. Okay. Well, what do you think about the format? There's so much diversity. You already mentioned Eradicator, for example. When the list dropped in Philadelphia, um, we were ec ecstatic. We were like, "This is crazy." Okay. We can continue. The format. Uh, it seemed 
that it would be better, but after like testing extensively, uh, I think it got a lot worse because Kostira is dead, and that means that you still have to like take into account the rise heart and that gate keeps a lot of the fun decks out of the format okay. like dragon okay. link i don't think is really playable even though i really like it it's just like a rise heart is such a massive issue if you don't draw your non-engine you just can't play okay. tier element would be like a cool deck um so you still have to like basically build your deck around the rise heart or play kristeria yourself but it did get a lot more inconsistent um and that just like makes it very frustrating to both play and play against because like you play 12 rounds gonna break yep. but it's still the most powerful deck so it's it's, it's really rough and then because Steer got hit a little bit Rudy came back into the format which creates all kinds of like issues on its own because Runic is a, also a specific deck to like both main and side for um, so in general with so many extra decks that came in like I think there's way too many decks playable right now you can't side deck for 15 decks okay. Yeah, um, the diversity. Yeah, that's, it's an that's, issue. That's I, much more different. Yeah. I think we made a list. Yeah. There were like there were like sixteen decks you could play and and potentially top, which is just too much in my opinion. Right. right. So last uh, question: the, the um, like the, the forbidden and limited list. Imagine post Euros next Arise week. Rise banned. Uh, they had, need to hit Runic somehow. The field spell. The OCG hit uh, the field spell to one. Yeah, that's a good start. I think you could also hit tip to one and it would still be like, like you don't kill the engine. Fair, it's more fair. But yeah, it is, it is quite uh, crazy right now. You probably want to hit sprite in some, in some capacity and uh, yeah, maybe flu, I don't know. But our eyes are banned would be a really good start because then deck, graveyard decks become playable again, which I think like okay. is such a big part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like Dragon Link and Tear and future graveyard decks are they're all being kept out of the format as long as that card is legal right. so right right okay yeah makes sense uh and last words any last words any shout outs shout out to electric gaming and uh, see you guys at the next event okay. thank you yo what's up guys so um it's done it's over uh, the european world championship qualifying in utrecht 2023 so rika man can't expect it right she was on a like oof, on a roll also at uk nationals i think top four so i, th I think a well-deserved winner um, as for the rest, uh, like always, right, the vlog, of course, the video see, you see here. Um, um, I did some Edison duels, uh, which was fun. I, I also have the first place Edison winner. He won the, what was it, the uh, Time Wizard format, uh, win a giant card, the Black Rose one. So uh, that was nice. Uh, it was a special list, the Norlas list. Uh, as for the rest, there are some profiles probably already up uh, by the time this vlog goes up. So hopefully it's, you know, well received. Let me know what you think and um, yeah we'll see each other at probably the next YCS thanks for watching and uh, enjoy